Did you guys ever want a microscope that was also a robot? That was also a scientist? No, me neither. But that's why they took him away from being a microscope. And now he's a tank. Let's check out Planet X Asclepius. Or their version of Perceptor. Reasons, having a hard time focusing. So, guys, we've got Asclepius here from Planet X, and it's their version of Fall of Cybertron Perceptor. And you know, with Planet X boxes usually they like to have, well, kind of some of his details here, and this is the front. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't Nope, that's the back. Okay, so that's the back of the box, and I'm embarrassed. So there's your back. <laughs> We're doing this backwards. Plan this, Asclepius. And coming aside, and you got sort of a profile shot, although it's got these things here, but these go on the legs, so I don't know why they're showing them off there. It's really strange. And you come to the front of the box, because that's how you're supposed to do it. And there's this chest. Plan it, Asclepius, right there. That's pretty cool. Now, I did pick this up from BBTS, and I got him for a song. It's super cheap right now to buy this guy from a Big Bad Toy Store, because they're just trying to get rid of him. And as we'll see with the Paddles review here coming up soon, I forgot which side I had open. I also got that one. Very cheap. I actually bought them at the same time. So if you're missing those last few Planet X earlier figures, you can get them. So let's pull the box out, if I can. The inner box, I should say. Now, I have had this for a while now. That's why it's very dusty. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Set the outside box. Way over there. And you have the clamshell here that comes with him in the middle. And then all of his big old weapons. And then you can see straight through there is in fact the same as the box. So it's weird that they didn't do the thing like they used to do where you kind of got a teaser for the next figure. But you've got the instructions, which oddly enough, I've not actually used. Um, I've kind of figured out how to transform this guy on my own surprisingly intuitive unlike some of their other figures uh you do have his character card right there in the same kind of uh not so great artwork that they're known for i mean it's cool and all but it doesn't look great it's never super clear either so there he is it's actually a lot lighter the older cards are a bit thicker and there's his strength his intelligence Speed, endurance, I'm sorry, is that it? Yeah, it does. Rank, courage, fire, bless, skill. But skill is actually capitalized, but they've never fixed strength. So they're definitely smarter and got some good firepower and stuff like that. So pretty cool dude there. And instructions are as bad as Planet X instructions usually are. But like I said, I actually transformed this guy without them. So it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get the figure out here. Let's see how cool he is. All right, guys. So here we have Planet X Asclepius. Or their version of good old Perceptor. And unlike uh, his normal G1 form, he is not a microscope. He is a weird Cybertronian eight-wheeled tank. Which is weird. And uh, unfortunately, he doesn't actually roll. He just sort of slides a little bit. Maybe he's a hover tank, so to speak. Uh, he does have these thrusters back here. And uh, one thing you guys will notice is he has Autobot logos kind of all over him. And that is because of repro labels. Not that they have a set for him, or if they do, I, I couldn't get a hold of it. These are just spare Autobot logos. So I've got some big ones right here on the side of his like miniguns. I've got one here for his chest and one back here just, well, because <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, yeah, I like his uh, tank mode. It's actually pretty cool. Now, this is with virtually all of his stuff added on him. You don't have to include these by any means. These are just sort of plugged in here on 5 mil pegs. And these are actually, because they are 5 mil pegs, they do totally work with uh, normal mainline transformers, which is pretty cool. Uh, so here is his just normal 
tank mode as it is. The turret does move up and down just a little bit, but you have to be careful because it will totally fall out of where it is uh, due to the way it's held together. Now, if you want, you can take his actual weapon, weapon and plug it like back here just for the heck of it. I do that usually. So you can take any of the pegs and do that. We'll look at that more in robot mode, of course. But for comparison, we will look with the Titan's Return version of Perceptor. Uh, obviously, uh, I didn't feel like putting him in his tank mode, so I just left him in this. Of course, his tank mode is kind of dumb, if I'm honest. And the G1 Perceptor is, well, basically, I'm not going to try to transform it. Again, I will bring him out for robot mode just for the heck of it. But yeah, he's pretty cool. And just for quick comparison with Planet X's Moors. Or not Moors. What am I thinking? Jeez, uh, what is he? Jupiter? I don't remember. Prime. It's their version of Prime. I don't remember his I don't remember his name. So that's him in tank mode versus bot mode prime. And they most of the characters sort of scale to each other. So that's just that. Now we looked at the box and stuff like that. Uh, I might have to pull the instructions back out because it's been a while since I messed with them. He's got a fairly intuitive transformation. I did actually transform him back and forth the first couple times without really looking at the uh, instructions. And, you know, just uh, it's, it's compared to a lot of other Planet X things, it's more intuitive. But you can see that he's got... You know, it, it basically just kind of flattens out more than anything. He just kind of pancakes himself. So, I mean, it, obvious feet are obvious. But one thing is, like, they did a good job of hiding the head for the most part. It's just kind of peeking out just barely under there. So, uh, you want to go ahead and pull this off. That's literally all it took to remove that. It's just, just this piece here sort of wedging against that area right in there. Um, if I actually do a transform and rollout video for this, which I might, um, we'll take a closer look at how that works. You do want to flip this little peg out. Um, okay, yeah, that, that does flip there. Like I said, it's been a minute since I did this. And you want to push that in. Now, I didn't realize that this actually... Huh. I didn't actually know that did that until just now. But the barrel does extend for tank mode like that. Shrink it back down for bot mode. Wow, that piece comes off too. <laughs> I guess you can almost completely disassemble this. I know you can take this part off. That's not a big deal. But yeah, for the most part, black paint, or it's either black or gunmetal paint. Hard to tell. But it's there. There we go. And then some of the pink. Whoa. Pink Energon paint. And considering this is one of the earlier figures that they did, he's pretty cool. So I'll set the weapon off to the side there. And this is where I try to remember how everybody comes apart. So we want to come back here and unpeg that from there, unpeg that from there. And it's basically just going to be unpeg things and unfold things. So he's got some big tabs that are right there on the arms that fold into the kind of kneecap things there. All right, so this is where I remember how to do this. So we want to use this big hinge here. Flip these guys down and out of the way. You can tell where the legs are, obviously. Okay, so swing that. That was just sudden. So swing that guy up. Turn this up this way. Kind of lock it in place. And then drop that down. Wow, that was loud. Okay, and then this part will do a thing. This is where I try to remember exactly what to do. Okay, so that goes into there. We want to peg this up. We got a, several pegs down here. Straighten out the foot. That's gotten real loose. And flip out the heel spur. And like I said before, bear with me guys. It's been a minute since I've actually done this. I do know that this guy has the three or four holes there that line up to that except there's that one big thing there now I'm trying to second guess myself so go ahead and just do the thing tab everybody together oh I missed it sorry hold on the knee the side of the knee here that's why that was so floppy I couldn't figure that out 
that pegs in right there. So let's try that again, but with this, this side over here. Hold on, give myself some more room to work. Okay, so all of this is a mess. This is loose. I want to unpeg that from there. Flip the foot down. Flip the heel spur out. You can do whatever you want with these little bits here later. No big deal. Okay, so you've got a collapsible kind of triple hinge here. So it's a hinge here, hinge here, and a hinge here. So you want to extend this up, and you've got this peg sticking out the side there. That will go into... Come on. As I say it, it will go into that. Why aren't you going into that? There we go. All right. And then you want to flip this guy up. And then it'll sort of just rest in place. And then you've got all your pegs lined up to peg that on. And you want to straighten the leg out that way. Oops. Maybe that's, maybe that's the reason it didn't want to do the thing properly. And then bring that down like so. Make sure that leg, that leg doesn't want to stay tabbed in. What the heck balls? What the heck balls? Okay, so let's get this just sort of standing. There we go. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, got to keep raising it up. He does get fairly tall. And this guy does not want to straighten out. There we go. Joints are a bit stiff. All right, arms. You've got hinges, so we want to rotate down. Rotate up. Just that number there. Or how about rotate out and then down. It's one of those things. Okay, so this is backpack. That's what we want there. And... Flip that up, flip this whole thing forward, tab his chest in, close that in the back. I don't think these actually do anything, now that I remember. Okay, and now we have the classic flip out fists from Planet X. Which side? Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Shoki doesn't know what he's doing. I don't. Like I said, it's been a while since I transformed this guy. I got the Dinobots after him. Okay, so that's your door for flipping that open. Then you've got this number back in there. And flip out the fists. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah. All right. I need a break after that. Okay. All right, now we've got Perceptor out here, and I went ahead and put his uh, cannon thing up on the shoulder. Let me see if I can't move that down. I get a little more room here. Because it, it's really prominent. Like, I was thinking that maybe his backpack would fold down a little bit, but it does not, so that's okay. But he still looks really, really good, and that can aim down. It's like a really huge <laughs> cannon, uh, like even like Megatron fusion cannon esque. Uh, the feet are kind of sucking, if I'm honest. Uh, it's just how that these ball joints and everything work. Even with the heel spurs sort of turned down, having a little bit of problem. So I mean, just gotta be careful with him. Make sure he's very flat footed, but he's pretty cool. I like him. You've got yellow eyes. Very Perceptor-like. Yellow eyes. Actually, they look like they're glowing. That's pretty good. Even though they do have light piping, so maybe it's a little bit of that. Um, nice, clear, translucent chest. Silver plastic paint. Black paint, I think. Either black paint or black plastic here inside the chest looks really good. And once again, that's just a, a universal repro label Autobot emblem. Oh, yeah, ball joint mounted head. Kind of missed that. And he came bobble head. Swivel here. Planet X creak in the shoulder. You get flip out joint here. Blue paint, black paint, uh, pink ish paint there for Energon Glow. More of it right there. Black plastic there. Blue paint on top of the arm. Looks really good. Uh, single jointed elbow like that. 
and bicep rotation. Just be careful around the paint. His little uh, adjustable knob here actually has some clear parts there for Energon Glow, so to speak. Presumably they'll have uh, stickers for that if they don't. Uh, oh, the hands do rotate. Honestly, I wasn't sure when I pulled them out. So they are fixed in kind of an open gun holding uh, pose, but you know it is what it is. You do get a little bit of tilt here for whatever, because he is going to be a sniper, so I guess he's made to lay down in a prone position. You do get some red, bluish paint there on the center section. You get waist rotation, although there's some hefty plastic right there that I don't believe is supposed to be there. You guys can see that. It looks like it's left over from a screw hole or something right here. That's not good. Let's see here. Let's see if I can clean that up. That is a thick hunk of plastic that's just chill in there maybe i'll rotate a little freer now oh yeah look at that okay oh it was a nub look at that it was a whole nub they'd missed so he was a little bit stiff because of that obviously uh you do get the old school planet x hips here they're just straight pinned through there obviously we solved their transformation how that works paint there paint all down the side there big old single jointed actually is it technically double jointed no it's just single it just ends up bending quite a bit uh you can see that the leg armor itself is peeling off you just gotta squeeze everybody together a bit uh more translucent bits here on the shins along with some black paint more black paint down here on the vents all the translucent for the wheels and now you've got some thrusters or vents or whatever here on the back of the legs considering that was all his tank mode stuff this actually works out pretty well if i'm honest uh, it looks like, well, the problem is, there we go. That wasn't seated all the way in. That's why I was having problems with that knee. So there's a peg right back in there. But they did a lot of detail work to this guy. Like, he just got it where it counts, and I love it. And, you know, if you want, you can just sort of leave him like that, I guess. He's not going to stand properly, so there's nothing about that. Uh, this part here is actually on a ball joint. You got this on the hinge, that's on the hinge, that was on the hinge and it popped off. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to hold all of the leg together. Why are you doing that leg part? So, you can get a decent stance. So he's actually a very nicely done figure. Now, size-wise, let me compare him to the Titan's Return version. So you can see he's decently taller, but obviously keeps a lot of the actual perceptor uh, details, stuff like that. And of course, even though he's still rough and doesn't really like to do things, hold on, let's go over here. G1 perceptor, it's still not mine, but it's still in my possession, because that's just how things work. <laughs> But uh, it doesn't have the big chunky proportions. But I like how they give him the same kind of similar leg details and stuff like that. And while he's not doesn't have the teal color, he does have a nice light bluish color there. And then in comparison to Planet X figures, I'll bring out, of course, one of the only other big Autobots I've got. Prime who is taller than him, as he should be. Of course, he does default to uh, Perceptor a lot in the game for sciencey stuff, and of course, he does snipe a few people. And then you've got Starscream, just for comparison. So Starscream's a bit taller. It would be helpful if I could you know, put them right next to each other. Starscream's a bit taller. So, you know, he, pr he preceded these characters entirely. So the fact that he's got a very different kind of aesthetic to him is actually pretty cool. But... Um, it, it occurred to me, other than Dinobots, I don't have that many Autobots in this in this wave, so to speak. And now it occurs to me that really there weren't that many. If you don't have Omega Supreme, you're, you're kind of you're kind of short-handed, if I'm honest. Now for weapons and accessories, you do have his sniper gun. Which is pretty cool. And this thing does kind of break down a little bit. So you do actually have it. It took me a while to figure this out too. I didn't actually realize this. But the barrel does extend to full sniper mode. And you can hold it. You do have the pull 
lever there on both sides for cocking it, which is funny. You do have a scope with no sticker in there. I could probably uh, find one that could get in there. Let's make a custom one. He does hold it very nicely. And if you need to, you can cradle it, so to speak. That's pretty awesome. That is a huge, huge gun. And you do have these smaller guns off to the side. And you can either leave them on there or he can hold them, whatever you want to do. Um, I don't understand. Other than looking like a bipod as well, I don't really understand what the point is of these weapons. I don't even remember them being in the game. But then again, you know, it's been years since I played the game. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that at myself. But you can plug them in down here, if I could see. And use them like a bipod, like I was saying. Which might be the original intended purpose, but that's not something that's in the instructions. So if you want to have it like that, go ahead and lay him down. Go ahead and extend the arms out. Let's see here if we can get him into a cool like prone pose even the head does tilt back almost enough to really be useful so this might be good ow did that just shock me or pinch me that was weird okay so yeah he can more or less lay out like a sniper using a lot of his bits and pieces that's pretty cool i'm hoping that was intended he can definitely do it <laughs> All right, and if you aren't using the gun, well, he's like, just, I got my gun. Hold on, I gotta, you gotta remember to rotate the arms back before turning them. You don't want to snap anybody off. You can utilize some of the holes, like on the back of the arms and stuff like that. So I normally would have had his gun, if he's not using it, kind of collapsed like that. Or you can use like this right here plug that in and he'll just chill if you reverse these like this it just gets a little tighter that's kind of how I had it in tank mode so he can be carrying his gun but doesn't have to be using his gun now because he does come with some excessive weaponry that I don't actually know that he uses in the game once again we do have the mini guns which are an absolutely ridiculous thing. Look at that. Okay, so in tank mode, I had it like this. So I've got a much bigger Autobot logo on one side, have a smaller one on the other side, because in this mode, he has to kind of hold it this way. Now you can, if I remember how to do it, how does it, oh yeah, yeah, okay. So you can plug this in his hand. And then you sort of close his hand, or close it around his hand, and, well, that's supposed to tab in. Something, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I knew something extended, I just didn't remember what. There we go. So this needs to come all the way back. Once again, it's been a minute since I've played with this guy. Okay, so tuck that in all the way. Tip that back. And plug that in. Okay, so there you go. That's him holding the gun. And if you want to, you can extend these, although it seems kind of silly. So he can hold the weapon like it is transformed on his arm. Which is neat. You can also have him just carrying the gun by the handle, which is something I tend to do. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. How did I do it? Kind of finagle it. Oh yeah, that's, that's right there, right there. Kind of get the thumb going and kind of that number. 
sort of. Yeah, like that. It's not in all the way, but I know. It's like I used to be able to get that in there. Some minutes later. So that's that's that. Okay, <laughs> took me a second to get it in there, but if you plug it in from the back, you can do that, and then you can get what I call the most armed up scientist ever, because he is a little bit, a little bit ridiculous, if I'm honest, especially with these big guns. You can carry like a suitcase, or you plug it onto the arm, and you keep a sniper rifle on his back, or if you want to, you can just tilt it upward towards the sky. Uh, you could also plug it in on the shoulder, have that number going on, whatever. It's just free for all when it comes to this guy. I could have sworn I plugged that in in a different manner, but it don't matter that much. But yeah, this this is actually pretty awesome. Alright guys, so final thoughts wise, I really like this version of Perceptor. It's actually a very cool Planet X, and considering it is one of their first figures ever, it came out really, really well. It's well engineered. It does have some of the weaknesses in the feed and stuff like that. The leg transformation is a little wonky, and making sure that it's stable is important, especially if you're going to arm him up like this, no pun intended. Um... But he's so badass. <laughs> and it has been quite some time since I actually uh, put him in bot mode. So I dig him. I dig him a lot. And you've got weapon options. And, of course, uh, if you want, these weapons pretty much work on most of the other guys. They may not be able to hold them, at least not in the normal sense. But you can plug them in. That's why you've got 5 mil ports. And, of course, you have his ginormous uh, sniper rifle if you need to do that. Um which is by far the largest weapon so far. But other than Prime and himself, there hasn't been anybody who comes with a weapon that converts their whole arm to a gun. So that's only these two so far. Hoping that down the line we'll get Bumblebee or somebody like that. Uh, even Megatron doesn't doesn't do that. Now with the Ratchet and the Ironhide that have been shown off that are coming sometime soon, they come with some new weaponry that we have not seen from the game as of yet, which I find pretty cool. But I definitely suggest this. BBTS probably still has them on discount, so if you can grab them, by all means. I got them for like 30 or 35 if that. Uh, normally like a $90 to $100 figure. So by all means, go grab them at a discount if you can. It's a good one, considering how old he is in comparison. And like he's very different aesthetic-wise to most of the other Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron figures and probably better than anything that hasbro put out because i don't even think they gave us a perceptor from that so it is what it is but uh if you guys like this video give me a big old thumbs up down there for your favorite warring scientist right there uh hit that subscribe button if you have not uh make sure you check out the showcase shirts in the patreon by all means if you want to help support the channel the patrons usually see things first they actually can see things uh, that are just for them as well, including some behind the scenes things, uh, out of the box reviews, and unboxings, actually. So, if you guys wanted to go check that out, by all means, every little bit does help. And I need every little bit of help that I can because I'm trying to make it to TFCon later this year. But I will see you guys on the next review. And remember, as always, keep on hurting because you could be like Perceptor. <laughs>